Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and happy Valentine's Day. Please accept this as a token to all of your significant others who allowed you to come out tonight. I'm Dr. Charles DeBrovner. I'm president and co-founder of Global Bioethics Initiative, also known as GBI. It's my pleasure to welcome you to this our organization's launching event. Global Bioethics Initiative is a non-governmental organization that was established in July of 2011. It's driven by the commitment to impart knowledge and understanding of the ethical, legal, and social challenges of ongoing medical and biotechnological developments. This evening's event is the first in a series that we are planning. The focus tonight is on organ trafficking and its health and security implications. Over the next three years, we're going to be examining the ethical, legal, and social aspects of reproductive and sexual rights and of population aging. The experts we have assembled for this evening's panel have very broad backgrounds and extensive experience. I have no doubt that you'll find their presentations to be both illuminating and thought-provoking. We look forward to a lively exchange of views on this most pressing issue, which of yet remains to have been adequately addressed. We hope that these deliberations will pave the way for concrete actions to combat this crime, such as what specific areas for further research should be prioritized and what mechanisms and policies should be introduced. I am now pleased to introduce the moderator of our discussion, Dr. Anna Lita, co-founder and executive director of GBI. Dr. Lita has a PhD in social philosophy and applied ethics from Bowling Green University. She's carefully studied and followed developments in organ transplantation and trafficking, and I'm sure you'll find that she's well-versed on the issues and passionate about a need for their solution. So please welcome Dr. Lita. Thank you, Dr. Lebrun, for this uh, wonderful introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome once again to our panel discussion, which, uh, as you have heard from uh, Dr. Lebrun, our president coincides with the launch of Global Biotics Initiative. This panel brings uh, together brilliant minds in medicine, bioethics, medical anthropology, <coughs> and global security. Please allow me to introduce the board of directors of the Global Bioethics Initiative. I will begin with the ladies, and I would like you to stand up, if you don't mind. Ms. Shirin Carson <coughs> is currently Director of We Serve and Special Projects Manager at the School of Biomedical Engineering, Science and Health Systems at Drexel University. Dr. Caroline Debrogner, she's Professor of Political Science and Criminal Justice at Pace University. She also serves as the Secretary of the Board. Dr. Nina Urban, She's a psychiatrist and professor of clinical psychiatry at Columbia University. Rachel Mayanja, some of you know her. She's former assistant secretary general and special advisor to the secretary general of the United Nations on gender issues and advancement of women. Now, the man, if we have a fair balance. Mr. Phil Henderson, president of Sudna Foundation. Dr. Tony Vernillo is a professor at NYU College of Dentistry. <laughs> Mr. Jay Sever is founding partner of Sever and Fork CPAs and the treasurer of Global Biotics Initiative. I extend my special thanks and welcome to the members of the United Nations missions, members of the press, friends and colleagues, for taking the time on this Valentine's Day to attend this special event. 
Many thanks to the Turkey Center in New York City for offering the delightful space for our cocktail reception that follows. And finally, I thank most sincerely the students who have volunteered their time to work with GBI, some of them from New York University, others from Columbia University. They are my heroes. And in the past three months, they have spent hours on end to organize this important event, and their work is not done yet. I am truly honored to be the moderator of this debate. All of us who have been engaged in organizing it have done so with a great amount of enthusiasm. We strongly believe that this kind of space is absolutely necessary to enable exchange of new views and collaboration between academics, civil society, and members of the international community, including the United Nations. The topic for the panel discussion today mirrors what Professor Art Kaplan has often said, doing bioethics in the real world with all the pitfalls and rewards which it entails. Of course, we expect this evening and we look forward to big rewards.